Sagittarius says this is your mid-month reading for the period of October 15th until October 31st. Please excuse my voice. I'm actually, I, I have a cold or allergies or something and I'm losing my voice. So I do apologize for that in advance. Okay, so keep in mind this is general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Rates and info are below along with my email. Just look up my, um, just send me an email and we can go ahead and get that worked out. Um, and then this is a general reading, so it can apply to love, family, friends, finances, what have you, business, career, things to mention. My 2018 sun moon readings are going, going up on my playlist. Um, look up your sun moon sign and then check out what your behavioral traits are. In addition to predictions for 2018, it doesn't matter when you see it. When you see it is when you're meant to view it. I am working, going to be working on my 2019 sun moon readings and I'm doing those by request. So get, make sure you get your requests up in the comments and I will note it and I will put it down. Um, compatibility readings are also going up. I do those, um, at my own speed. So if you want to check those out, if you're in a relationship, check them out. I'm on the Instinco app and I've just, um, put, uh, several services on there. Um, I still have my get one quick answer to one quick question on there for a reasonable price. And then finally, I'll be leaving a Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feel. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I do that for the monthly. <laughs> I started going into that and I was like, no, we're not doing that. This is a, this is general. This is not love. So excuse me there, Sag. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Sagittarius is Holy Spirit Angels. What do you see for Sagittarius? Is what are the previous energies they came out of prior to the last two weeks of October? What energies they can they expect from October fifteenth to the thirty first? And how will they be moving out of October into November? Or Sagittarius says. So Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me previous energies that Sagittarius has passed out of? What are their previous energies or influences they passed out of prior to the last two weeks of October? We have the Hierophant in the upright. Okay. Can you please show me what are the energies that they can expect the last two weeks? We have the Wheel of Fortune. And then finally, moving forward out of November, I mean October into November, we have the Three of Imps. All right, I, I'm feeling like this might be... I immediately got this could be career-oriented. It has to do with the job path, something kind of going on with you guys right now. Um, the Hierophant is a card of Taurus, for some of you if that resonates. But... The Hierophant, and sometimes the Hierophant can be about marriage, so, you know, two people. So, for some of you, prior to the end of October, you could be taking your relationship to a new level with somebody, uh, moving in with them, getting married, what have you, making that level of commitment. But I, I'm, what I kind of got from this is that you guys are in some kind of, like, um, like, system. <laughs> like, a, like an organization, or, um, the union, or something like that some kind of a body of people or an organization of some sort that's very much by the rules very conventional um there's authority there's respect within this organization it's about you know doing the right thing having commitment to this so i kind of got that this was kind of a a work entity of some sort but i will be pulling clarifiers on this but that's what i got immediately the Energies that you have for the last two weeks of October, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is something very good coming up unexpectedly, okay? So um, it could be, you know, a turning point. It could be uh, money coming your way. Um, sometimes it's somebody just unexpectedly showing up that you've been hoping would show up or, you know, seeing somebody. But whatever it is, it brings really good fortune. It brings really good luck with it. So I think things are looking positive and it could be very well um, in regards to this organization or, you know, what have you, what you're doing in regards to that. Um, and we move on to the three of imps here. And the three of imps is about opportunities coming to you and, you know, deciding what you're going to do with these opportunities. How are you going to bring more opportunities to you? It's about thinking big. Um, so for some of you, you could be figuring ways to, um, expand opportunities by overseas travel or overseas opportunity. Um, it's about bringing earning potential in for you. It can also be about just, um, if it's a dating scenario, it's dating people or meeting people that you wouldn't ordinarily talk to. You know, it really is, like I said, about widening the net, expanding those horizons, thinking big. So, I mean, I, I feel like, and, and even though this is kind of choppy, it's not really flowing, I feel like it goes under the umbrella of, um, I'm not even going to say that. Let me pull clarifiers because it is choppy. Can you please 
please my clarification on the Hierophant. I mean, I'm already like, I don't know what the title's going to be. Why is the Hierophant here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Um, energies prior to October. Last two weeks of October, 2018. Person, personality, make respect. stuck they are pushing and I lost it sorry I, did, I, I will say during this month I've had um difficulty with these cards actually okay we have this so, so whatever this is this this and it could it could very like I said if it's a relationship it's a commitment you guys are standing up and fighting for it with the seven of clubs if it's an organization like I said a union a company something that you're involved with a church um, sometimes a hierophant can be a you know a church. Um, you guys are you guys are standing up for something because we have the seven of wands and you're getting opposition in regards to maybe what you believe or an opinion you have, but you're sticking to it. You're not going to back down. You're going to fight for it. So you guys prior to you're fighting for some kind of cause or some sort like that. Um, and the ten of hearts in the in the upright, it's because you really you're fulfilled in this situation that you're in or you're you were fulfilled in this situation you're in it was okay you liked it you like where you are whether it's in a relationship or your work situation or whatever you like it and you're going to fight for it i feel like the situation is being threatened somehow um and you're not you're not going to stand for that you're trying to almost like figure out how to um deepen the roots um, so that there's staying power like a and, and not like I don't think it's in a stubborn way I, I feel like it's just digging your roots in deeper because you really don't want to go anywhere in regards to this and you're you're I just feel a very strong stance in regards to a commitment um, or how things should be that's another thing that I'm getting an opinion on how things should be um, and we have the eight of cups in reverse okay and you don't want to leave this. Whatever it is, you don't want to leave. Be it a, a relationship, be it an organization. Um, the Eight of Cups is not being able to leave, but I, I think it's because um, you keep on returning back to this. You're not, because you're not aware of other options. You're not aware of what your best options are. You don't want to step out of this because to you, this is solid. This is something that you can count on. And you keep on returning back to it because you don't, I almost feel like you guys don't want to explore other options. Like you feel this is it. Whatever it is, you feel like this is it. And you're very opposed to anything else or exploring anything else or doing things differently, I feel like. But I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is going to bring about a different set of um, circumstances for you, whether you like it or not. Um, and the, it's, the Wheel of Fortune is also a 10, so it's the ending of the cycle. It's an end to doing, um, maybe seeing or viewing things the way that you used to see them. So something's going to come along and really kind of change your, um, outlook. And I mean, if you look at this guy, this guy almost looks terrified. Um, <laughs> it's not really a face of good fortune. It's, it's more like, oh my God, what just happened? And he's just being turned around on this wheel and there's little knives being thrown at him, you know? So, I mean... It's not the typical Wheel of Fortune card. Can you please write clarification? This Wheel of Fortune card for Sagittarius says, last two weeks in October. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why did you choose the Wheel of Fortune for them? Okay. So we have the Nine of Clubs in reverse. So some of you are actually under attack. Um, whatever this happens, suddenly you don't feel in your safe zone anymore. Um, somebody is opposing you. Someone is coming into your territory and making you very defensive. Um, maybe they're trying to change your situation. I'll go ahead and pull all of these cards out. But with the 10 of, 10 of clubs in reverse, you should realize this is actually a good thing. Um, I almost feel like a, a burden is going to be released. You don't realize it right now. Um, but something's going to happen that you're very opposed to. You're very hesitant about it. Um, you're fighting it. I feel like you're fighting it, whatever it is that comes comes along suddenly. But the Ten of Wands here is kind of saying that, you know, the way things were, um, 
they were too much for you. Um, you were maybe you were working too hard. Maybe the relationship was too tiresome. Maybe you were taking on more responsibilities than you needed to. And the Ten of Wands is saying, "Listen, you need to take a break from this." The universe is saying, "We we know what's good for you. We know what's best, and there's actually a reason why this is happening to you." The Queen of Diamonds in reverse. Some of you, if it is a work situation, some of you are going to be worried about. Um, you know, having to be financially um, dependent, having your finances um, be afflicted or, I mean, affected somehow. Um, for others of you, I feel like you were working a lot. I feel like a lot of you were working a lot. And I feel like you weren't doing those projects around the home that you wanted to get done. You weren't spending time with the family that you wanted to get done. Or the family was saying that, you know, you were working too much. And I keep on getting blessing in disguise from this, whatever it is. You might not see it at the moment, um, but you are you are going to have financial hardship from it because um, we also have the five of diamonds. So you're going to go through something where there's going to be financial setbacks because of this. I think something's going to come up very suddenly and you're going to have to go separate ways from this institution, separate ways from this relationship. And like I said, if you're going to fight it because you're not going to want it to happen, um, but it is going to happen, and I think you're going to see that it's going to create other opportunities for you with that three of imps there in November. I, what it's doing is it's allowing you to see other things that are out there that you wouldn't have ordinarily looked at. That's that's what I'm kind of getting when this action happens. You'll have no choice but to see things in different ways. You'll have no choice but to see the bigger picture. You'll have no choice but to pursue other opportunities. Okay. But you do want to stay in this. This to me seems like security to you, but I feel like it's false security. I I feel like it's more in your mind than what an actuality is. And things change all the time and things evolve all the time. They can't stay like that like that forever. So and I think with that guy on the wheel of fortune, you guys are actually worried. You're concerned. You're anxious. Um can you please my clarification on the three of imps? Why is the three of imps here? for Sagittarius as they move into November. Who is this person? What is this energy? Three of M's, please. Person, personality, perspective, person, line. Three of M's. I'm telling you, I've had the hardest time, like, and I don't know why usually the cards catch so much better, and, and I've never had a problem with these cards before. I am for this. Okay, for some of you, the new opportunity might be a business partnership with somebody, a love partnership with somebody. Um, that's you are going to meet somebody and you're going to be very connected to this person. Again, it could be business, it could be relationship, what have you, but it's going to be very beneficial to you. Um, five of hearts, you're still, you're still kind of mourning the loss of what you left. Um, you know, you're having sorrow that, that you had to go separate ways in regards to this. Um, again, that there were financial setbacks that, you know, I don't want to say rejection, but I just feel like you, with the five of hearts, you guys are, so even though you have the bigger picture, even though you meet somebody that you connect with, whether it's, you know, a colleague or, a, and, and things seem so much better, you're still kind of like, well, I kind of wish I was back here. You know, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was getting up for every morning, or I knew what to expect. So there are some aspects of that situation that you're missing, even if it's just the money, i tell you the truth. Okay, so we have two kings in reversed here, which isn't, and the kings always, I don't want to say they scare me, but they're really not, you know, the, the, the best, let's put it that way. So, um... The, the king of the king of wands to me in this particular situation leads me to believe that you feel like a little bit of a failure. I keep on getting that you guys thought that this was forever and you keep on going back to this. And then when it isn't forever, part of it is feeling like you failed somehow with this um, because he can be really crappy. He can be, you know, really dominating, overbearing, um, things like that. Um, but I feel like with you, you guys feel like... Um, you were struggling to achieve and it didn't happen. You, and I said, like, you feel like a failure because it didn't work out. It didn't work out in the way that you thought it was going to work out. And then we have the a king of swords in reversed here. And I, the king of swords, like he has, again, he has a whole bunch of stuff kind of associated with him. I mean, he can be a con man. He really uses his, his mental power. He abuses his mental power to kind of get what he wants. 
Um, and I'm going to tell you guys that I think some of you going into November, despite the fact that you are forced to look at a big picture and there are kind of good things coming your way in regards to that partnership you have, I think there's a tail end where you guys are really not going to handle on, have a handle on your emotions. You're going to be really grumpy. <laughs> I, and I'm getting that. I feel like you guys are going to be very um, grumpy. You're going to be... Um, you know, just, just these, these emotions that you're having from what happened back here or what happened with this wheel of fortune, I think you're going to be very hard, um, people around you for them to deal with you. Um, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm just getting this really strong energy, um, where you guys are going to be a little bit crabby. Um, because I feel like it, it's going back to, you know, the lack of confidence or whatever, this situation that you kind of thought was set in stone and it didn't happen. So you're letting your emotions get the best of you and you're uncomfortable in this situation in regards to your finances or dependence or whatever you have going on. And you're just kind of letting it fly, um, with these two Kings here, especially in reverse. So just be careful of that. That's all I'm saying. Just realize, you know, don't let other people cap the, um, catch the shrapnel around around you just because of a situation and I do think this two of hearts here whoever that person is I think they're going to be a very supportive person for you during this time that you're kind of going through um and you may meet them here because of these opportunities you know you're networking or like you're online dating and you say oh to hell with it let me and this person that you meet I think they're going to kind of help you get through this time and they're going to be a great support system for you while you transition through this in November um and dealing with your emotions and this person I get they really they know you at some level so either they were very close as a colleague or it could be a family member or it could be somebody you had a relationship with or you do have a relationship with and they know how you are so I do feel like this person in the midst of this going on is going to support you too for some of you okay so that's all I have for you Sagittarius's again keep in mind if it resonates consider a personal reading rates info and email are below just send me an email also, my sun moon readings are up in my playlist. Um, go check those out. My compatibility readings are up in my playlist. I'm on the Instant Go app. Several services are up there. And then, um, yeah, I'll be working on the 2019 sun moon readings. So just make sure that you post up your request for those in the comments. Check out my weekly reading. I just posted up. Oh, no. Check out my weekly readings in general. I'm a mess. See, I'm on cold medicine. So, <laughs> all right, Sagittarius. I'll see you guys uh, for your love readings in November. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye, guys. Yes.